some people that are promoting that at the present time. That would be extremely damaging. I respect the vote, but the vote was not for a hard Brexit. Are you planning for it? Are you able to plan for it? Look, we've got lambs that have been born that will be sold in a post-market, a post-Brexit marketplace. So I'm concerned. Yes, I'm absolutely concerned. You know, it's really, really important. Normally you budget for about a 10% variance, plus or minus. If we lose 35% of the marketplace, if we're subject to 50% tariffs, that's extremely damaging to my business and thousands throughout Wales. Okay. Gentleman at the back here in the black suit. Yes, I'm clear about this. If you're in a negotiation to buy a house, you don't say, I'm going to buy this house from you no matter how bad the deal is. Yeah, yeah. You negotiate, and if the negotiation, if you can't agree a price, you walk away. We do not have to have this begging bowl mentality at all. If we are offered a bad deal, we should walk away. Because at the moment, as things stand, you've got to remember, tariffs work both ways. The, U the European Union sells more to the United Kingdom than the other way around. No, it yes, it does. it does. And if you've got... What, what do you say to people like this gentleman who are, have their livelihoods at stake? Well, they're, it, it they're obviously works. not just going to sit there and, you know, and just hope for the best and play hardball. Is the European Union going to cut off its nose to spite it fa its face? You take Airbus, for example. An Airbus plane is not going to go very far without British-made wings or landing gears or gearboxes. That's a fact. These things work both ways. Do the Germans not want to sell their cars to us? Of course they do. All right. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring in some of our politicians. Mark Isherwood AM is here from the Conservative Party. So, I've got a quote. Liam 